What is up everyone and welcome back to more Naruto Shippuden. I am here today with episode 207. The last episode mm, gave me some very mixed emotions, especially with Sakura. Like, I don't feel happy with her right now and I've always been team Sakura because I know how much hate that she gets in the fandom, but the way that she behaved in yesterday's episode. I'm actually really excited to read the comments on that just to see your thoughts on what we witnessed, but she went around that like way wrong. Way wrong. I just think Naruto deserved a little bit more respect from her after everything they've gone through. Like she totally tried to just be like, well, you know what? I don't care about Sasuke anymore. I love you so much, but in front of everyone, as well, like, she just totally was, like, making a mockery of him, and I just didn't like it. I really didn't like it. We have a fight on our hands, ladies and gents. Killer B taking on one of the Akatsuki. I don't class his fight with Sasuke as him taking on a member of the Akatsuki, because I don't fully believe Sasuke to be a member. Not yet, anyway. Don't forget if you want to watch these before anybody else, you can head on over to the VIP over here on the website. And also please feel free to hit me up over on my social media. All right, let's do this. It appears to be a jutsu, where a plant-like clone with no chakra latches onto a life form and then feeds on that host's chakra. That's why even you didn't notice it. Most likely a ninjutsu by that Akatsuki at the summit. He's still tailing us, and I think I know who he is. The hidden mist Byakugan wielder. That boy me. We don't trust you, Donzo. We really don't trust you. I'm just shocked that we have somebody representing the Leaf Village right now who is so evil. That's like, what's his face's hands? Daedara. I miss Blondie. me, oh You've got ink in your mouth, so the rumors are true. You really are an octopus, boy. Now get ready, cause I'm gonna make you weep, you sharky creep. <laughs> Wee! Wee! I'm in love with Killer B! Hey, did you know? Did I know what? In the wild, octopi eat sharks! Whoa! Watch yourself, B! B! Don't mess around, B. I mean, I know his sword looks ridiculous, but he's powerful. It appears that this time the shark shall devour the octopus. That sword shark skin's got a big appetite, and it's a speed eater. But it can only devour six tails worth of chakra at a time, huh? Only six tails of chakra at a time? Okay. So that's right, he didn't actually show all of his tails, so I'm still confident. I'll help. Enter Tailed Beast State. I love that he is one with his beast. I wish Naruto could be. He's not falling for it, surely. Ooh. Nice. That's kind of creepy, though. It's like a scarecrow. <gasps> oh! He did fall?! What's going on? Mind transfer puppet curse jutsu. Damn it. That object curses whoever attacks it, activating a mind transfer jutsu. That's right. Your consciousness is sealed inside that puppet. Oh my gosh! There's me like, oh, he wouldn't fall for that. Well, he did. Oh! Oh my god! <coughs> of course, I should have known. They were gonna try and get him to stab his own eyeball out! Don't think you'll reclaim it easily. So it automatically activates when danger threatens the eye, huh? That's quite an appropriate jutsu for one of your kind. The Undertaker Squad. If the Mist's military power is diminished because of it, losing one of my eyes is a cheap price to pay. Although thanks to your barrier, that's not going to happen. But there are plenty of other options. This is mental! Oh my god, Donzo is such a prick! It's not like you to make excuses, B. So what are you going to do? Fight in version two states? Yeah, man. Except most of my chakra got taken away during those last few exchanges with Kisame. So you're gonna have to lend me some of yours, okay? I feel 
feel like <laughs> I feel like the beast is like why do I have to put up with this host honestly of all the people in the world you gave him this guy I feel like Killer B is so much better than Naruto when it comes to like the beast damn yeah, yeah. sick Samehada's so excited it's tripping over itself the earlier chakras, nothing compared to this volume and quality. I'm amazed he can control this much chakra without losing his mind. I want to know how he manages to do it. And maybe he can tell Naruto and like teach Naruto and then they could be like, join forces and everything. Oh, Kisame! Yes, you did it! Can't believe I was reduced to version one state. He's still alive. Hurry up and finish him off. Oh, it's not going to be as easy as that. Definitely not. Going on. He's an Akatsuki, so some weird shenanigans are going to go down here. The stronger my opponent is, the stronger I become as well. I will not tire. How is that fair? <laughs> that blade of his steals his enemy's chakra and transfers it to its master in the form of stamina. Wow. Then, can anyone ever beat Kisame? Super exploding water shot! Oh my god, someone save the raccoon! What are you plotting? I'm simply going to jump down now and behead you. If I can't remove your eye, I'll just take your whole head back to the leaf. <laughs> oh my god! Please don't do that! And then once I'm back in my own body, I can simply retrace my steps here to grab your head. Oh my god, this is horrible! If you get nervous and undo your jutsu even a second early, I'll be able to dodge that sight. And if I'm not dead, you're going to have a serious fight on your hands when you return to grab my head. <laughs> Ooh, ah! Oh my god! Yes! Go girl! Go girl! That was insane! Wow. An enemy's jutsu. I couldn't move my body at all. If not for you, I'd be dead. Phew, that was way too close for comfort. I'm sorry if I made you worry. So you couldn't move? Must have been a genjutsu or something. I'm sorry, but can you untie me now? Of course. Do we trust him? No, don't! I was gonna say, he he's still stuck inside! Oh my god. I can destroy the Byakugan and then undo the mind transfer jutsu. This chakra belongs to that sensory type ninja from the leaf. This was his plan all along. Oh no, my god. Oh, well she, surely she knows. She's smart. This man is not Ao. Good not girl. I'm able to undo the jutsu protecting that right eye. And the real Ao would know that very well. Besides, Ao would never apologize in front of Chojiro. You sniffed me out, you old witch. <gasps> oh! <gasps> she slapped you right out of there! You're back to normal, are you? <laughs> <laughs> that sensory type leaf ninja. Good thing it was only her hand and not Hitame Kare. You were lucky. You just got like embarrassed in front of the kid. So why do they want to destroy it? Oh, I have so many questions. Donzo, you creep! The battle drags on. The more chakra will be shaved from you, and the weaker you'll get. You've got to steal his blade away from him. That sword is the key to his strength. Is the raccoon okay? That's all I want to know. What? He merged with his blade? I was going to say he just became Shark Boy. He's a merman. He's a merman! No, Here the raccoon! At this rate, Master King and Ponta will drown. First things first, I gotta get them out of the water. So crazy! B, behind you! Is B gonna be able to breathe under that? Or does he need to get out of there too? The water bubble is in motion. And that half fish guy is at the center. Pay attention! He's faster than you in the water. Oh, so we're like totally trapped in there because he moves with the water. Leave that Enka geezer and the raccoon. Swim in the opposite direction. He'll chase after you. 
Oh, okay, yeah. so that's the he best way to at least save the look yes. at the raccoon he picture. <laughs> He's like an angry raccoon. Now come this way. <gasps> what? No, no, no! My orders are to capture the eight kids alive, but there is no rule against killing these two. Oh no! Gotcha! Oh no! It was his bait. Suckers! Now I got you. I'm not giving you my chakra for free forever! Oh, you fool! Okay, we're moving it away from them. They can get out. Alright, they're out. Whew! Alright! I hope they're okay. You had a good idea there. But as long as our bodies are touching, I will continue to drain your chakra away. No one in the Akatsuki is as good as I am at taking prey alive. This water prison shocked him. We've seen Killer B pull things like this before. I mean, he stayed under the water in an octopus, remember? At this rate, I have to use Larry again. I've got to time this just right. No, you can't match his speed in the water. And he's raised his guard because you used the octopus legs. Just retreat for now. He's not gonna let us retreat, are you crazy? Okay, maybe if you swim through that, he might have no choice but to let you retreat. He really is an octopus lout. However, with my body merged to some other like this, I can detect chakra through my skin. There's no way! Come on, B! I'm coming! B! <gasps> the tales turned out to be disappointing. No, no, he's messing with us. He's fine. We've seen this before. He just wants him to let his guard down, surely. So I think I'll remove your legs just to be safe. What? <laughs> he stole away most of my chakra too. Damn it. Get up, B. Wait, this isn't. I thought he was messing. He's not. Oh? What's the matter? Oh yeah. That's like some blade shiz right there. You've become attached to the eight tails. You've really taken that much of a liking to his chakra, Samiha. Oh, your sword betrayed you. I did not see that coming. He just kicked his sword. <laughs> what? Very well, shall we make it a fair trade, weapon for weapon? Are you sure you're allowed to touch that? It looks like it has a nice sharp edge. Ah! Now's my chance. A pencil? No way! That was so close. Sorry we're late. My brother. That timing! Kage, how'd you find us? You really went to town absorbing someone else's chakra and using it for yourself. It was way too obvious. Yeah, Kisume. Think you're all big bollocks now. Yes! Oh, this is gonna be so good! Brothers fighting side by side. Water style! Super shark bomb! Double Lariat! I must say, you two sure are fast. They just chopped his head off! Oh my god! Oh my god! Amazing! Actually amazing, these guys rock. Is he dead? <laughs> hey, bro! <laughs> How dare you go wandering off on your own! Even your non-dominant arm does me a lot of harm, so sound the alarm! Oh no, do we not get to see? Oh my gosh, did you see that? That was so good. I think that goes down as like one of my all time favorite fights that I have seen so far in Naruto. I don't know why, that was just so good. Why has it taken this long for these brothers to become such a main feature in Naruto? Like, I want Killer B every day. Why is it taking them this long to introduce such an amazing character and his brother A and that entire village? 
Like, they're just so badass. I'm just so excited that we get more time with them. So, Killer B has taken out another member of the Akatsuki. That's interesting to me because I thought that maybe that fight would go on a little bit longer. Maybe it's not dead, maybe his head will find its way back to its body, like, I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Alright, that was such a good episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.